every morning when you wake up you have to drink apple cider vinegar along with water additionally i say use palak notes apple cider vinegar why because it consists of cinnamon it consists of fenugreek fenugreek which we eat in the morning all the work that i'm doing is on your insulin if you make detox water from cinnamon lemon and mint leaves then it's perfectly fine but if you add some food items like beetroot and water although natural they will trigger insulin resistance i'm well aware that this video is about skin tags i'm going to bring some research studies in front of you that will prove skin tags are caused by insulin resistance not only skin tags pcos is caused by insulin resistance weight gain stuck weight the reason behind all of this is nothing but insulin resistance all these skin tags that appear on your body the skin becomes elevated like bulbs in your eyes on your armpits private area neck or back it can appear anywhere this is not genetic It's all the game of insulin resistance. On this channel, all the scientific studies that I bring in front of you, I did not write those studies. These studies are written by those people who take real-time patients into consideration and do various tests on them. A similar study was written by the National Library of Medicine named Association between Skin Tags and Insulin Resistance. It is written here in very simple language that if you have skin tags on your skin, then it is possible that you may get diabetes after 5 to 10 years. or after a few years you suffer heart conditions here i got biotech research where i found a really nice research here they took patients who didn't even have diabetes but the ones with elevated blood sugar levels scientists noted that people with elevated blood sugar levels get skin tags out of 100 people 97 people get skin tags it could be a case that you don't have diabetes but your blood sugar levels are high why because you're making some mistakes in eating Children eat a lot of sweets. It's very difficult to stop them. Understand there's a huge difference between cravings and hunger. You had a good meal and are full, but still you want to eat something, which means you get cravings. It is due to elevated blood sugar levels. You have difficulty in weight loss. You do exercises, cardio, you eat in small amounts means your blood sugar is elevated. My father was in the range of pre-diabetic. I made a few changes in his diet. How? I increased fats and reduced carbs. What does that mean? It means in a bowl of dal put 2 spoons of homemade butter and decrease the roti from 2 to 1. In vegetables also I told him to avoid eating those vegetables like peas, carrots, potatoes and sweet potatoes. You have to take low carb vegetables. Eat broccoli, eat cauliflower, eat bottle gourd, eat bitter gourd. After 2 months of this diet I again asked him to get his fasting blood sugar level tested and guess what? He was no more pre-diabetic. The biggest magic was Whenever we used to bring anything sweet in front of him, he could not resist. And for the first time, he said, "No, it's too sweet." I know why he said it was too sweet because we increased fats in his diet. Also, if you start doing exercise, start taking protein with fat. I promise your cholesterol levels won't increase if you stop having vegetable oil and you stop having sweets. Along with that, take two eggs. If you're vegetarian, take a protein shake along with that. Trust me, you won't even look at sweets. If you have skin tags anywhere on your skin, they'll either stop growing or they'll shed themselves.